Welcome to the Imperial Cloud Sync Administration Guide on Installation. In this guide, we'll be covering three topics. First, we'll discuss locating the application on the App Exchange and installing it. Then, we'll discuss creating your Salesforce.com to Google Apps connection. And lastly, we'll discuss how to manage new user syncs with administration features. Let's get started with locating the Imperial Cloud Sync application on the App Exchange and installing it. First, log into Salesforce.com as an administrator. Next, click on the blue navigation bubble in the upper right hand corner of the window and select App Exchange. In the App Exchange search bar, type Aperio, A P P I R I O, and click on the search button. Select Cloud Sync from the list of Aperio applications and click on the green Get It Now button. Next, select the Login to App Exchange option. If you're presented with a login box, please use your Salesforce.com username and password. Lastly, you'll need to select the kind of environment you're installing the application on, either production or sandbox. Take a few minutes to read over the terms and conditions. Once you've done so, check the box and click on Confirm and Install. You may be prompted to log back into Salesforce before continuing. On the Package Installation Details page, click Continue and click Next on Step 1 to approve Package API access. For step two, you will need to choose what security level you would like Aperio Cloud Sync to have. In this example, I only want to install Aperio Cloud Sync for administrators, as I'm still testing the application. Once you've made your selection, click Next, and then click Install for step three. Once the package installation has completed, you will need to add new trusted IP ranges for the application to use. Click on the arrow next to Security Controls under the Administration Setup menu on the left-hand side of the screen, and go to Network Access. Click on the new button for trusted IP ranges. Here, put 75.101.148.153 for both the start and end IP ranges and click save. Click on the new button again and add 107.20.245.252 for the start and end IP ranges and click save. Congratulations, you successfully installed Imperial Cloud Sync. Next, we'll discuss creating your Salesforce.com to Google Apps connections. You can access Aperio Cloud Sync in two ways, either by clicking on the blue navigation bubble in the upper right-hand corner, selecting Aperio Cloud Sync, and then clicking on the Aperio Cloud Sync tab, or by clicking on the plus symbol in the application tab and selecting Aperio Cloud Sync. As this is the first time you're accessing the application, you should be presented with the My Setup page. On this page, you'll be creating your Salesforce.com and Google Apps connections. To connect your Salesforce account with Aperio Cloud Sync, first select the type of environment you're in. If your organization has a custom domain in Salesforce, such as yourdomain.my.salesforce.com, select the custom domain option and enter your domain information in the box below. Once you've selected your environment type, click on the blue authorization link. A new authorization pop-up window will appear. If you agree to the authorizations on this page, click on the allow button. You will see a Salesforce authorization complete notice and the window will close on its own. Next, we need to connect your Google Apps account to the Aperio Cloud Sync application. Before continuing, make sure you're logged out of all Google Apps and Gmail accounts to ensure that only the correct account is connected. Once you've logged out of all Google accounts, click on the blue Authorize link next to Google Authorization. A new authorization pop-up window will appear. Here, you'll be asked to log into your Google Apps account. Once you've done so, read over the information presented on the next page and click Accept to continue. A Google Authorization Completed page will appear, and then Close. Lastly, click on Done to complete your connections. You have now successfully connected your Google Apps and Salesforce accounts to Imperial Cloud Sync. Now we'll review some administration features available for Imperial Cloud Sync. Administration privileges for Imperial Cloud Sync are granted to all users who are assigned a Salesforce.com profile with the word Administrator in it. As I have the System Administrator profile, when I access Imperial Cloud Sync, I see several options that my subordinate users will not. First is the Users drop-down menu. From this menu, I can select any user who has created a Salesforce to Google Apps connection using the steps in the previous section. I can view their current syncs, create new syncs, edit, delete, start, stop, or even force the sync to go through immediately using the Sync Now option. I can also view their log file by clicking on the timestamp located under Last Sync. Here I can review any errors that may have occurred, see what information is syncing, and ensure that everything is working as intended. I also have access to the primary sync options. This feature allows you to dictate sync options users can and cannot select when creating new syncs. For example, if I only want my users to sync their Salesforce.com calendars to Google, and not from Google to Salesforce, 
I can click on the primary calendar sync button, select the Salesforce to Google option, and click on save. Now if a new user were to create a new calendar sync, both bi-directional and Google's to Salesforce options will be gray and unselectable. This concludes the Imperial Cloud Sync Administration Guide on Installation. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, or if you run into any issues with your installation, please contact us by emailing support at Thank you for your time, and have a great day.